Today we are here with Mr. Kafu Yamega, the CEO of Eclipse Kulata Management. And as we discussed some of his product the last time, today we are going to continue with some few questions that the public is asking and to know more about their services. Mr. Kafu, when you talk about loan, we hear on air from the banks, from colleagues and friends about default NPL of the banks not, not doing well. Now, in your area, you are not far from such a situation. Our question today is that if there's an eminent default, what happens? Can you help us? Thank you. At ECM, Management, we have never experienced a default before. But uh, we know that default in business is something that you cannot run away from. Because genuine businesses may or may not run into default. But for us as a company, we look at all the risks that is opposed to us and then we make sure that we mitigate all the risks that surround us because our business itself is full of risk and then by the risks that are opposed to us, we ensure that we have these two important documents that I spoke to, about, to you about earlier, that is the sale and purchase agreement and then the deed of assignment. The sale and purchase agreement where the owner has virtually surrounded his interest from the property and then we now have full control over the property. And then the deed of assignment, which have also been assigned to us, that we now have the ability to take over that property at the back of the sales and purchase agreement. What happens is that before we are able to activate these two important documents, we and the business owner would have to sit, analyze his business, analyze the reason why the default came in. And then we will meet with him with, the, with his bankers to see if the business has got the potential to revive itself, to be able to pay. Then we'll ask the bankers to give us a, a days of grace to reschedule the facility for us so we will be able to the business will be able to turn around itself and pay when we are doing this we need to engage the property owner to find the property's owner appetite for time if i say appetite for time maybe the property owner may want to get his property just after the period of expiration if the property owner can also give us another one year so that the business can be able to reschedule itself and pay when all these things are done then we'll be able to now extend if the business cannot recover from its eminent default and then virtually the default is permanent, then what we do is that we activate the two important documents. And once the two important documents are activated... That is under the collateral dilution. Absolutely. Under collateral dilution. So we sell off the property that was given to us as a cushion. Because with a collateral dilution, we have the property that is a cushion. So we can fall on that cushion when there is a default. So now we take that one up and then we sell it off. Once we sell it off, we are able to pay off the bank, the liability that sits in his books at the banks, and then also to be able to free our property from, from the bank. This what because it's a complementary service, the banks are also able to reduce their NPL from their books. They also doesn't have to go through any court process or any litigation to be able to have ownership of that property that um, was um, was hold on, and then we are able to free the property owner. We are able to also free the banks when these sales are done, and then the property becomes free of any encumbrances. So at Eclipse Collateral Management, you can enjoy under this arrangement in a risk-free environment where the property owner doesn't have anything to lose at all. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm sorry, Kofi, second question is about properties on sale, where the property owner has bought the property and then it has been used to support a business. And now the property owner wants to sell the property or he has a buyer to buy his property. What happens? Usually what happens is that we have properties that have been put on sale and because the sale is not moving, um, the property owner is able to now put his property document onto our platform and then he's enjoying returns at the back of it. What happens is that if the sale is now commenced and he has a prospective buyer who wants to buy and the prospective buyer doesn't want to continue with our process, what we do is that we are able to take off his property from our platform and then give it to him. But we need an ample time about three months so that we'll be able to get a property to swap off or we'll take a property to swap off his property and then he'll be able to get his property so he'll be able to be free out of our system. What happens is that because 
he has taken what is called his collateral usage fee or the rent from us. It means that if he's taken his property before time, what happens is that the money has been utilized, so you cannot get. So what we do is that once we are swap and we get his document for him, we monitor when the sales goes through, we get the difference that comes from the on usage period. When I talk about the usage period, that is when the property is traveling on its full length for what the property is being used for. The on usage period, we return the money and then we give that on usage period to the new property owner. Secondly, we have properties that it is not on sale. But the property owner utilizes it and he realizes that this time around I need my property. So he comes to withdraw his property document. That goes through also the same process where we need to get ample time. We we'll swap and then be able to give his property documents to him. Then the one usage, yeah, because he's redrawing and the property is not for sale. Once he's redrawing, then the property owner needs to refund to us the unusage amount so that we'll be able to give it to the new property owner. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the unusage amount, then it means that you need to allow the property to travel the full length and then when it ends, then you'll be able to get the property for you. Once you put your property on Equus platform, you have not locked it forever. No. You no. can walk in at any time and withdraw. The only thing is, is to inform Eclipse about the withdrawal. Yes. If it's about sales, to, you inform them about the sales. Absolutely. This means that you inform them during the agreement stage for the onboarding platform. Yes, so we have what we call full declaration when we are onboarding our platform. The full declaration is that every information that you need to know is given to you before we onboard you onto our platform. That is, that is good news. Secretary, we thank you very much for this explanation. Thank and you we very hope much that as well. Your business grows and help property owners earn decent income. Thank you.